Hello, I'm Daniel Orson, here repping the Wagner's Nightmare uh, t-shirt, the merch, and I'm here just to give a quick tutorial video on how to mint the limited digital album. So this is assuming that you've done two things. The first is set up a MetaMask wallet, which is free, easy to do, takes less than five minutes. The only unique thing is the 12 word seed seed phrase. This is your recovery phrase. Um, if you forget your password, it's very important. You want to write it down, maybe several places, don't lose it. Um, so that's the only unique thing about that. But the MetaMask wallet is easy enough to set up. The second thing is that you've acquired some F, that's the currency for the Ethereum blockchain, which is where we uh, created, set up the contract for the limited digital album. Now, hopefully you actually don't need the F. Um, we want to set it up so you can purchase with a credit card, but um, there was a, a change with that. The, the process we were going to use, the, um, which was very common and very popular, they changed something in how they work. So uh, we had some security concerns about that. Um, so maybe we get it resolved and find a way to pay with credit card, but, uh, if not, you're going to have to acquire some F and I'll leave you to figure out how to do that. It's a little bit of a pain, but, um, not, not the worst thing in the world. So we're at the Wagner's Nightmare website here, and, uh, there'll be several buttons to get to the minting site, but up here in the top right corner, mint the LDA, that will be up. And you click on that and you come to this website. Okay, so um, two things to note here, connect MetaMask and download the album. So let's click on download the album first and see what happens without, without the LDA, without the token. Um, and we just get this page that says connect wallet. So you have to connect your wallet to get past here to actually get to the album itself. So we'll close that for now. Oh, whoops. Um, okay. So, connect MetaMask wallet. Um, you're gonna wanna set up your MetaMask as a Chrome extension or with another browser that has the extension. Um, so we press connect MetaMask and... Aha, uh -huh. so I have a few accounts here, but this is the one I wanna use. It has the, the F in it that we need. Connected, great. All right, and then you'll see this uh, supply a thousand. That's the maximum supply. Actually, it's a little bit less than that right now, and hopefully we get it down to uh, zero. But this number won't actually change. It's not keeping track. Um, max, you can uh, mint fifty at most at once. Hopefully, everybody mints fifty at once. That'd be great. Price point zero two five F. Um, there is something to say about this. This price. Uh, because we're working on Ethereum, the pricing has to be done in F. Can't do it in USD or anything else. It has to be in F. And um, a few days ago, when we set up the contract and launched it, uh, 0.025F was about $35. In the last two days, F has shot up about 10%. So now the, the price of this thing is higher than we expected or intended. Of course, the price of F could go down. It could continue to go up in the future. Um, I, I don't know, uh, that's a, a game you play at your own risk, but um, yeah, just needed to mention that. Uh, okay, so here you can adjust the quantity that you want to get. Uh, here I'll just get one to show, and then press buy. Okay, so as you can see, 0.025F is $42 at the moment. Uh, gas fee. Okay, this is important. The gas is going to be $8. Gas is a transaction fee, but it has to do with how busy the network is at that time, how much stress is on the network. So you know, within the last 24 hours, I've seen gas anywhere between $3 and $11. There's a pretty wide swing um, depending on when it's busy. So if it looks really high to you, like $8 is fairly high to me. Um, and as you can see right there, it updated. Uh, maybe come back later and see if the price is lower for the transaction fee, for the gas fee. But that's something you need to factor in. So you're actually going to need more than 0.025F. You're going to need a little bit extra to account for whatever the gas might be. All right, so 
confirm, as you can see, the total year, confirm. Wait to for transaction. Minted, okay. Uh, now let's check view transaction. So this, this really shows you what is going on. This is the ledger. If people talk about blockchain as an immutable ledger, this is the ledger. And um, this has all the important data and it, it can't be changed or hidden really. So, um, but it's not important for us. And let me say view collection. So, okay, OpenSea is kind of this marketplace and they aggregate uh, data on different NFTs. So we have, now that we're minting these Wagner's Nightmare uh, NFTs or LDAs, there's this collection showing up here. And with each NFT, as you can see, there is a uh, uh, unique photo that's generated with some different attributes. Um, so, you know, that's fairly cool, but that's not really why we're here. That's not why you're getting this, this album. Um, it is because now with the wallet connected and with the, with the LDA in the wallet, I can click on download album, connect wallet. Okay, so we have to verify inside the wallet itself. Sign. Boom. Okay. So, download music at the link inside this file. Here's the button to download. Now, if you press that, you're going to get a file that has a link to a little storage place on the internet a nice secret storage place um, that has mp3s of the album, WAV files, which is a higher quality audio, bigger file, higher quality. And we're also going to be uploading oh, uh, program notes. We have our extended program notes booklet, which also has some essays. And, um, and then we're going to be uploading on a rolling basis some music videos, some B-real footage, behind the scenes stuff, bloopers. Um, that's one of the really neat things about this is that we can add things to it as we go and include so much more than it normally would be with an album, streaming, a CD, whatnot. Um, and the whole premise with the limited digital album is that it is limited, that there's a finite quality. And you might be getting to this point and thinking, hold on, hold on, I can just send the link to anybody and they can get the album. Um, well, yes and no. The link is going to expire on a regular basis and be renewed with a, a new link, which will send you to the same place, but the link will be, will be different. So that kind of puts a bit of a crank in it. But even so, ignoring the link, there's still the files, right? So you can download the files, you can send them to somebody else and, and totally, you know, um, dash the, the limited idea. Um, that was a conscious, choice on our part. We're very well aware of that. The issue is that keeping a server like that, that plays music in the style of Spotify or Apple Music, keeping a server up like that is prohibitively expensive. Uh, not worth it for just one one-off project like this. Um, and then the second reason has to do with you, uh, the person getting this LDA. So I realized that at the upfront, like there's a lot of barriers to entry, some hurdles to get over, some confusing stuff with the MetaMask wallet, with F, with you going through the whole connecting wallet stuff. Um, you know, that is, that's confusing. That's a lot to take in. And we wanted to make the back end of it easy and familiar since the front end was so, so novel. Um, so what this format does, it allows you to download the album and it gives you flexibility and familiarity. So you can listen to it however you want in a lot of different ways. Um, if it was to be just on a streaming sort of site that was had a gated access where you needed the, the token, the LDA to get to it, um, you'd be kind of boxed in. You'd have to 
get to that site, um, you'd have to have your wallet connected. You'd have to be logged into your wallet. You'd have to have the 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 LDA in your wallet. Um, so maybe you're on the other side of the world. It's not as easy to access. So you forget your password, um, and you're not at home where it's lying around. Um, you know that kind of prohibits it too. So that's why we went this way because the technology and where people are, it's not quite there yet. So we know we're sacrificing uh, the limited quality of the digital scarcity for the sake of user experience, but um, we're really happy to do that. So I hope this was helpful and uh, I really look forward to you guys getting your uh, limited digital albums and um, hearing your horror stories or your joy about the process and what you received on the end of it.